Hi, this is Danelle Flanders with Paper Tray Ink. I'm back with another Stamp Affair video. And today I'm working with custom accents from the oven. Um, I made these little rings with shrink plastic in my Paper Tray Ink stamps. And I'd like to show you how I did that. So let's get started. For supplies, you'll need a few things. Um, you'll need some shrink plastic, uh, scissors or paper trimmer, a piece of vellum, a piece of craft paper or parchment paper would work, a baking sheet, an oven or a toaster oven, or even a, uh, a heat gun. Um, you'll need a few stamp sets that you want to work with, some permanent stamping ink or alcohol inks, and I have the Stazon Metallic and Silver and the Stazon Blazing Red. Um, white or black would work also. Uh, I didn't use white for the video just because it didn't show up as well, but it does work um, and it looks cute in real life. Um, you will need something round about the width of your finger. So I found a couple things in my um, makeup drawer. This is a makeup brush. It's a little bit wider around than this lipstick. But if you have bigger fingers, you want to use something a little bit larger. And if you're working with, if you're making a ring for, say, a child for Christmas, um, you'll want something a little bit smaller. You'll also need some sandpaper just to sand the edges of the ring a little bit. Now you'll cut some strips from your shrink plastic and my strips are about three quarters of an inch wide and you can experiment with the length a little bit. Um, these two are five inches and this one is um, four and a half I believe. Um, if they're too long it's okay you can trim them off after. Um, so just experiment a little bit with how long you want your ring. Um, as you can see, they wrap around your finger, not all the way, but just enough to keep them on. So I'm going to go ahead and make one with the snowflakes. And this is with the Peace Be Still set. So mount your stamps on a block and grab your stays on ink. And just go ahead and stamp. Um, it, it is a little bit slippery, so it's a little bit tricky, but just try to stamp straight down and lift up. I alternated the stamping just slightly, just to make it so it wasn't all one pattern. It's a little tricky. And and slippery so it does take a little bit of practice but the good thing is that when these bake in the oven they do shrink and you lose a little bit of the detail so uh, you you won't really see the mistakes all that much so there's that snowflake and then with the metallic silver ink um, I was going to use this Noel here from Peace Be Still and just stamp Noel a few times across the ring. So I started in the center, just lift straight up. It's a little hard to see, but you'll have room for three full Noels. And then you can just do a little bit on the ends if you'd like. For the third ring, I had a few other ideas. Um, you could do some little flowers from the Taggett's 3. Um, maybe some square prints would be cool for a modern ring. Um, Maybe like little hearts for Valentine's Day. This is Taggett's number four stamp set. Um, you could use Taggett's number six with a little apple for a teacher ring. There's so many possibilities. Uh, I think I'm going to try the hearts from Taggett's number four. So let's grab that one. Okay, so I've got the little heart on my block and I'm going to use the red again just because it shows up really good for the video. 
and oop, that one didn't stamp very well so I'm going to try to go over the top. Very slippery to work with. But the results are just so cute. And remember these will shrink down quite a bit so uh, the designs do get a lot smaller. So you don't want to start with something that's too, too small. Okay, now go ahead and prep your oven um, between 300 degrees and 350 degrees. I'm using 350 degrees and they will bake for three minutes. So place them on either the brown craft paper or a piece of parchment paper so you don't ruin your baking pan. And then take your piece of vellum and just place it right over the top. And what that does is help, so when the shrink plastic curls, it doesn't curl into itself and get tangled. The vellum really helps it to stay down. So pop that in the oven for three minutes. Okay, when you take these out of the oven, you have to work very quickly and be careful because they're extremely hot but you can grab them by the edges and just form it right around your makeup brush or lipstick and just hold it for just a second or two okay and they do stay hot if you leave them on the pan So you'll probably just want to do one at a time so they don't cool off so quickly. And this one's already cool. So you could just, you, you could use this on a card, cut it into a little banner shape, make a little design with it. Now you can probably see the edges are a little pointy. So you'll just want to take your sandpaper and just sand those corners a little bit. And you can even sand the top edge also to make the ring a little bit more rounded. So just keep working on that until you get all the edges sanded and you have some cute little rings for gifts um, I just think they would be adorable in a glassine bag decorated for Christmas or for the holidays. So have fun with that, and if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I can't wait to see your version of this project. Have fun. Bye.